witches, seekers, and the curious, welcome to my swamp. I'm Stacy Marie, and today we're going to do something a little bit more fun. Top 10 witchy things that I use in my practice. Candles. Candles bring the element of fire and just really help to set the overall tone and environment for a lot of work, whether it's spell work or shadow work or just simply meditation. My chalice. So I use my chalice a lot, whether it's for actually ingesting things myself or sitting and having a libation with a ally. Interesting story about this particular chalice. It's something that a, a family member got the year that I was born and put it in a hope chest that I actually didn't run across until I was about 14 or 15 years old and I've been using it ever since. My coffee maker or a tea ball. So I make a lot of herbal teas, uh, both in a tea ball and using my coffee maker. And as I've mentioned in a previous video, I do a, a lot of protection work with coffee. My morning coffee has become a regular morning ritual. So that's pretty important to me. Incense. So just like with candles, incense helps to set the overall tone, the overall mood, set the environment, as well as being uh, an item to be used for the element of air. Incense smoke as well can be used as an offering to work with spirit allies. Right. Music or a drum or just sound in general. I do a lot of journeying and to get into a really deep trance, what works for me is music, drumming, and actually movement or dance. Music is pretty important to my practice. My cauldron or a fire pit. So either one, they both serve the same purpose. The cauldron obviously is smaller, so it will fit smaller fire needs for burning things or offering up offerings via smoke, mixing things, whole lot of stuff I use my cauldron for. I take it with me when I go on trips, for example. So I always have my cauldron close. And then for larger working, my fire pit is important to me, especially for a lot of that deep journeying trance work. A journal and a pen. So I put these together uh, because they kind of go together and one without the other isn't all that useful. Journaling is an extremely important part of my practice. It's how I learn from the experiments that I do and also how I remember different messages and dreams and that sort of thing from my allies throughout my practice. Uh, it's also how I put spell work together. Sometimes I have ideas from the universe, if you will, for particular things, um, things that I build. I do occasionally refer to myself as a metaphysical machinist, meaning I build a lot of witchy things uh, and I just randomly get ideas from them that I feel come from the universe at large. So having a journal and a pen with me at all times is really super important to my practice. My allies, the spirits that I work with, very super important to my particular practice. For some people, they really have gods and goddesses as the central point of their practice. And for me, being more of an animist, uh, I really have my spirit allies at the central point of my practice. And any deity work is really on the peripheral. 
The second most important thing that I have in my practice or tools is my land. Um, this is where I gather most of the ingredients for the spell work that I do. It's where I commune with my spirit allies. It's where I do most all of my spell work. So my land and the relationships that I have with the spirits on my land are almost the most important thing to my practice. Is me. Uh, I am the most important thing in my practice, just like you are the most important thing in your practice. I really do not need anything else to be successful in my practice other than me, my body, my mind, and my ability to meditate and go into trance work, my ability to weave and manipulate energy, weave and move energy with the movements of my own body to be able to raise that energy and direct it. Really, I am the only tool that is absolutely required for my practice. Let me know what are the top 10 things for your practice. And the idea for this video came from Megan Black, Round the Cauldron. So check out Megan's channel to see what her top 10 witchy tools that she can't live without are.